All right, Taurus, welcome to your May forecast. I think next time I'm going to look for a camera. Well, the DSLR is actually like really bulky, but I'm going to think about it. Probably something less heavy. Because uh, it's so hard to record a video like this. Anyway. Um, I have limited set of cards, so I can't really do the things that I used to do, so I will only be doing it in general, finance, love, and health, and then a little bit of an oracle, and then the, uh, what do you call this, the, uh, bonus will be in my Patreon. All right, and I wasn't feeling well earlier, so... Anyway, let's take a look. All right, Taurus, overall, somebody that's going to be reaching out to you soon. All right. Mm. Someone that's been a very walled up and I can't say in denial, but this person is like hiding there feelings from you, okay, and I feel like uh, probably you started out as friends, you both have feelings for each other, and you both want to be with one another, but there is something that is, I feel like it's been like, um, you can feel fears from each other, it kind of triggers it, so I feel like this is more of a twin flame journey. So, this person's been hiding their feelings from you. You're hiding your feelings from this person. This person doesn't even have any idea that you are also in love with them. And they're taking your action as someone or something as you're not interested. Because you're not taking any action, they're not taking any action. I'm sorry. And... You're both watching one another, you're mirroring one another, you're watching, this person is also watching you. You trigger this person, they also trigger you. The only thing here is you are more in control rather than this person. This person actually operates through fear, that's why they've cut you off. They might appear like they don't want it they don't want to have anything to do with you anymore or they're very avoidant but this person is very well reserved yeah they might actually just look like they are they're avoiding you but actually it's not okay they're actually being controlled by their family if this person is still single they're being controlled by their family if this person is like a divorcee or all they have kids, their kids are the one that's been controlling them. So, while this person is actually, although I feel like for most of you, this could be a single person that is only being controlled by their family. This person doesn't have any balls to fight for you. And that's really unfortunate. I mean, you're the one who can fight for this person and 
I mean, you're, you know, you are the one who, who have more courage to, I mean, give it a chance, okay, to express your feelings and for you to, you know, um, express how you truly feel. And if this person will let you, you can fight for this person. But if you're expecting for this person to fight for you, no. This person is so childish, immature, and they feel like, oh, you know, like, you're the one who should fight for me, or you're the one who should come and get me, you know, the kind of attitude, whether this is a man or a woman. And this is going to be more of a one-sided love. I mean, even though that you already love this person. So the separation, if the two of you are actually in a separation right now, it is to teach this person how to grow up. Just a little bit, you know, if this guy, if this is actually a man, let them grow some balls, okay? If this is a woman, let them grow some spine. Yeah. I mean, in the end, you're the one who will still be persevering. It will be in your favor. But from what I can see here, you are the one who should fight for this person if you want to. Okay, if you want to. Sorry. You have to move. There could be a distance between the two of you. And if ever that you're going to be together, the family would want you to move closer to them. Uh, which I wouldn't agree. If you're going to be with this person, let's say, for example, that someday you're going to reach up that point that you're going to get married and end up together. It is much better for you to move far away from their family. The family will be very much involved in your, in your, in your lives. And that will just complicate things. Especially the mother that I feel like is a, such a tyrant. Yeah. You could be dealing with another earth sign. Aries. This person is just waiting for your action. Leo. Another Taurus. Yeah. This person is expecting you to reach out to them. If you really love someone, why can't you just like fucking reach out? Right? Why do you have to wait for like who's who's gonna do who? Like, you know, like you think so highly of yourself. If, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I mean, for I, I don't know, like for me, that's really bullshit. If you really love someone, regardless of your status, regardless of your age, regardless of who you are, if you love someone, why can't you just freaking reach out? And someone will just say like, oh, they're just afraid of being rejected. Fuck it. You know, like, how hard it is to reach out and take chances into reaching out to somebody if you truly love them. If they reject you, so what? Will it kill you? Will it take a, a big part of you? Will it take your limb? Will it take your head? No, no. I think that's just a really bullshit and that's vanity. If you really love someone, you're going to take chances, regardless if they're going to reject you or not. And you know what? If ever that this person would just like reach out to you, this process would have been less complicated. Because both of you actually have feelings for each other. You're just hiding it. You could also be dealing with another Virgo or Cancer. There goes Gemini and Libra. I don't know. I just, I don't see any action between the two of you. Okay? 
I feel like some of you have tried reaching out to this person in the past. They blocked you. They're because they're in denial. However they feel towards you is contradiction of whatever it is that they're doing or how they treated you. I think that is so stupid, you know. And this person is very much heavy on your energy. So I don't really feel like, you know, they're going to be leaving anytime soon. It's funny. All right, when it comes to your finances, you need to save. I can see that there will be an extra money or an unexpected surge of finances that will be coming your way. But like what I said, it will be... Take note of the dates that I'm going to be giving you because I won't be able to remember this. May 12th, May 16th, 17th, 26th, 9th... Uh, 29th or 30th okay um not necessarily have to be like you know regarding money but i feel like you're it's going to be more of an overall luck okay or things that you're going to be getting around that time and you're going to be you know probably getting a new job getting a promotion getting a contract landing any your client getting a down payment settling some i don't know settling some bills or it, or it, your credit score will be improving yeah something like that okay so not necessarily have to be like it's all about money all the time but yeah it's gonna be like related to that and i feel like there will be a little bit of a huff and buff when it comes to your workplace some people are going to be causing you some stress and grievances uh, some people that are just like definitely lazy, but they're just going to be taking out on you. For those of you who are actually self-employed or you have your own business, there will be some issues with some paperwork, benefits with regards to the government and your people or your labor. Um, I feel like that there will be a little bit of an issue with someone or with some people who's going to be asking for a uh hike like price no pay sorry uh they're going to be asking for like a higher pay you know and for you it's like wow like you know business has been like really bad and now you're asking for a you're asking for a raise why did you just operate your own business then and I'm the one who's going to be applying for you. You know? I mean, it's actually hard nowadays. Like, people are, you know, like, pretty much abusive. I'm also seeing some rally, or I'm seeing some people that will be uh, going against you. Because they feel like, no, we want some race. We want like this. We want like that. We deserve it, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, something like a union. If you have a very large company, um, I mean, you can get this all sorted out, but also be careful of, I don't know, this might not apply to all of you, but if you have a collector that's riding a motorcycle, be very careful because that person is actually stealing money from you. Or that person is actually I don't know. There's they, there's something that they're snitching, while they're while they're on a job. It could also be that uh, they're gonna get caught selling something illegal while they're on the job, or, or while they're actually you know, you know, doing some things for you. So just be very careful. There will be some disputes and there will be some labor related issues if you ha if you are into. 
business. All right, let's take a look now at your love. Yeah, some of you are actually dealing with a Taurus, Virgo. Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, yeah, could be some of you are already engaged, getting married, Libra, want to get married, Capricorn, some of you are actually dealing with an ending, okay. So this is for those who's already in a relationship, okay? Because in Aries, uh, the reading for love there is for those who are single. All right, you're going to have a big, fine talk about money. Okay, if you're dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you're going to have a big talk about starting all over again, have something to do with money probably one of you is like making a whole lot more money than the other and there is like an equality issue uh, so I feel like you're gonna try and figure out like what are we gonna do with this if you're dealing with a Gemini or a Sagittarius this for you know you mean the world to this person they want to stay married but the problem here is you are not in the same page sex wise you are crazy for each other romantically and you know when it comes to any other aspects of your love life you are not in the same page if you're dealing with the libra capricorn gemini this person wants a divorce i'm gonna play it straight too this person wants a divorce If you're dealing with a Leo, this person is so bored. Or Pisces. This person is so bored. They feel like you're not going to the next level. There's no progress. You're just stagnated. You just stay in the same, you know, it's like you're floating. And, it, 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 and you know, like you're not even increasing. And the decrease is like it's dramatically happening. Dealing with a Taurus that is more of a soulmate or cancer. This person feels like let's, you know, we still have a chance. Let's do it. If you're dealing with an Aries, this one is at a crossroads. And they feel like for our family. Okay. They feel like let's do it. Let's fix it. Okay, if you're dealing with another Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this one feels so stuck and they want to make some more changes. They don't mean any harm or they don't mean to hurt you, but they feel like it's time for a change. All right. So this is going to be more of an in general. Okay, sorry. Whoever it is that you're dealing with right now, let's take a look. Messages. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Too many cards. Okay. And so, okay. Soulmates. Whoever it is that you're dealing with is a soulmate. But you're sabotaging it. You're going to have a talk. Ooh, somebody's getting engaged. Somebody wants to marry you. The marriage card keeps on coming up, by the way. But they're poker face. It's like they're being held at a gunpoint. You're dealing with a runner. But they're very passive. In condition of this is a school updated thinking. The dragonfly finding things out. Change it's like abundance and partying. And personal dynamic. I feel like you're gonna be the earth flame. 
or made. Right? If it were the karma, it will be yours. It will be yours abundance. Okay? There's someone who doesn't want to let you go. There's somebody who doesn't want to get you off the hook. It's actually because of their security. You treat you as a security plan. Once this person gets whatever it is that they want, let's say, for example, that you're going to be providing them enough to have something to start with or give them a house and a car, money in the bank. Oh my God, they're good to go. I'm telling you, they're going to leave your heartbeat. Okay, so somebody's like, perfectly like, I'm not going to leave you. I'm going to he I'm going to be here. I'm going to stay forever. But if you just tell them that, you know what, this is not really working out, but I'm going to let you have a house, my car, the money in the bank. Oh, this person will be like, oh yeah, I understand you. I perfectly get you. Yeah, we should part ways. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right be careful of contaminated water make sure that you're gonna be washing whatever it is that you're gonna be getting I don't know why I'm getting like, I, mean, I don't know why I'm kind of like getting for me, but that's not for all of you. Okay? Probably, yeah, probably it's actually just for me. Okay. Because my sugar's really high this morning, so. <sighs> okay. All right. You need to be careful with your ovary. You're having some issues with your organs because of your high blood sugar. Okay, and think, um, if you, I mean, if you can, all right, just grind or blender the, uh, uh, the bitter gourd. Just remove the middle. Grind the bitter gourd. Get the juice. Um, crush garlic, just one garlic. Uh, pinch of salt, okay, and half lemon. Crush, squeeze it. Mix it all together. Drink it, okay. In one minute or probably an hour, you'll be good. Gives you. Okay. Um, also, be careful of shell food. You know, like shell, like seafood. I thought you should eat it right now. And you need to have, like, proper exercise. Get some more sun. You also need to rehydrate. For women, it's time for you to go for, uh, like, a checkup with your ob -gyne. Okay. The gynecologist. Do not risk uh, any over-the-counter med medication medicine. You might also experience blemishes or some skin allergies. I mean, it's not going to be that big, but it's actually because of the weather. You also need to wear some pink shades or pink glasses. I mean, you know what I mean. It's pink glasses, pink shades, it's like it's a protection for your eyes. Not necessarily have to be the color pink, okay? Um, and you also need to eat more vegetables, less protein. All right, and for those of you who wants to... Um, who wants to get pregnant? Let's say, for example, that your that your egg count is really low. Try eating soup with cow's ball sack. Okay, or some inter some internal organs. It's actually you, know, you can make a soup out of that, and do it for like six months, and try having a baby. Otherwise, clove, lemon, lemon, and garlic. Make tea out of it. It will also help you. All right. I'll see you at the bonus. All right, which is links down there below to my Patreon. And if you want to talk to me, love it. Phone, love it. Of course, just gonna be seeing my wife's essay. Clarifying that. Blessings to you.